Big news yesterday. U.S. Attorney John Durham expanding the scope of his probe into alleged surveillance on the 2016 Trump campaign and now looking into a wider timeline up to when Robert Mueller was named special counsel. This comes as Mueller faces new scrutiny over potential conflicts of interest in his investigation. He forgot he was actually applying for a job. Here to react is uh, former chairman of the House Oversight Committee, Fox News contributor and author of Power Grab, the best-selling book, Jason Chaffetz. Jason, so what does it mean that Durham says I'm expanding it and I'm not going to probably release it until next year? It's really bad news for people like uh, Mr. Brennan, who was the director of the CIA. I think Mr. Clapper also ha has something to, to answer for. Uh, the fact that he's expanding the probe means there's something real there. And now, he's been looking at this for months on end now. There is a lot more information out there. The timeline is interesting to say that he's going to take so long to put it out there. I think they're tired of all this speculation of when they're going to release or when they're going to charge people. If you set that date way, way out in advance, then you can exceed those expectations. I think it's just the expectation game. But I would suspect that he would come out much sooner than that. Well, uh, I would think because if he has the most comprehensive report possible, if President Trump is in his second term or there's another president, it's, no, it's going to have minimal interest even though it will have impact to the people involved. The most important thing that's going to happen that is going, I mean, literally, it could happen today, it could happen, most people suspect it'll be next week, is the Horowitz report. This will be the third report uh, that is out there. The battle that's going on behind the scenes from several people I've spoken with is what to, to what degree is it classified? Last time, there were only uh, seven words or so that were redacted. This one could be as much as 10 or 20 percent of the report redacted for legitimate classification concerns. But Horowitz's report, by all expectations, is going to be a bombshell. It really is. Well, it's going to be interesting. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I was struck. Uh, there wasn't many memorable moments from the Mueller probe, uh, from the Mueller testimony. But this stuck out with me. Watch. So you don't recall on May 16, 2017, that you interviewed with the president regarding the FBI director job? I interviewed with the president. And, uh, regarding the about, FBI director it job? It was about the job and not about me applying for the job. So, so your, your statement here today is that you didn't interview to apply for the FBI director job. That's correct. Well, uh, now there's a report he was indeed applying for the job. What does that mean for somebody who's a special counsel who just got passed over for a job by the person he's investigating? Well, it means if you go back and look at President's Tr President Trump's tweet that he put out, the president was 110 percent right. People mocked him for it. People said he was wrong. But now the documents are showing that he was exactly right. Um, and, you know, look, the special counsel was providing what ended up being bogus information. I don't think he's going to be prosecuted for it. But when you clear the air, Trump was right and Mueller was wrong. Right. Just ask yourself, at any level, the smallest or biggest court, do you want some investigating you who you just said is not worthy of the job that was open? You chose somebody else. Jason Chavis, thanks so much. Thank you.